that is not yet done with the festivities and all of the watch players will get a fat free winner wonderland loot boxes from now until january 2nd so you can get these loot boxes by simply logging into the game and you will see notifications that say you have five loot boxes to open and also included are sprays emotes and victory lines So moving on to our next news update, Escape from Tarkov Beta patch is coming soon. So online first, the person should escape from Tarkov is currently in close to beta. And Battle State Games announced that it is receiving an update and update 0.11 will be rolling out in a yet to be announced date and it will bring a slew of new features and of course the new enemy type discoverators the brand new Tira grouped lobs mob and tons of new items so the game is currently in close to beta and if you want to try it out you simply need to pre-order the game the full patch notes is available on the game's website Up next, ever thought what the food of some games would taste like in real life? For older skull guys, you would actually have the chance to cook and eat what they're eating in the continent of uh, Tamriel. Uh, and of course, the author of the book is Chelsea Monroe Castle, and she is also behind the game of Thrones and Warcraft cookbooks. So they are reportedly 60 plus recipes in the cookbook, which will include the apple cabbage too, as well as the sweet rolls. So according to Destructoid, the book will be available by March 2019. It appears like EA and Ties are trying to boost Battlefield 5's revenue after the game suffers from low sales. So a Reddit user who goes to about a game, Spunky088, posted a screenshot of a listing of Battlefield 5, 6,000 Battlefield currency for Xbox One. So the listing also shows that these will be available starting January 18, 2019, and he suggests that microtransactions will be common to the game, although EA and Ties won't offering loot boxes. So again guys, our password in order for you to participate in our giveaway is S R D F. Again, S for Sir, R for Riza, D for Dog, and F for Fish. So up next, Bethesda has been banning suspected cheaters in the game Fallout 76, and the cheaters were said to have been using third-party programs in order to get unfair advantages to the game. So the sad cheaters accounts get permanently banned but can be appealed for writing an essay explaining why the use of third-party cheats software damages the ecosystem of the game. So the ban has been made to the criticism of some only using third-party software for graphical touch-ups and the like and are not cheating. Whether you choose to explore the wasteland alone or with friends, your days will be filled with fun activities. Moving on, Rockstar has revealed GTA Online's 2018 festive calendar which contains the load down on what's in store for players this holiday season. So players will receive gifts each time they logged in from December 25th until January 1st. So those to log in on Christmas Day, December 25th, received the festively adorned Vapid Click Up and Optimizer Pistol 
liveries for Chernobog, and slasher festive sweater, and so many explosive. So Rockstar is also offering discounts and selective properties and vehicles until January 7th. Up next, the Watch Dogs received a new mod called Living City, all thanks to developer The Silver. So this new mod is focused on improving several aspects of the game instead of just changing its graphics. So this mod as well has been 14 months in the making and is 82.93 MB in size. So the changes includes our restricted areas, unlocked interiors, random events, civilian hawks, ambush chance, custom missions, replace con, CTO is case, first load, and limited inventory. It also comes with a series of small tweaks and fixes for the game. So moving on, Dark Fantasy FPS uh, with Fire might be released in 2020. So the Austrian Dark Fantasy shooter with Fire won't be released anytime soon. And the studio is looking at releasing the game in 2020, saying the target release year sounds reasonable and which Fire focuses on challenge and mastery and is not a story-based game according to the devs. So players won't be encountering cutscenes in the game and the game is still a work in progress and as of this report the devs have already started work in guns enemies mobs and its core ai We've got here as well, Close to Your Eyes Remake launches on Steam Early Access. So for its details guys, the horror title Close Your Eyes is now available on Steam Early Access with a discounted price of $4.49. So the game was originally launched 5 years ago as part of a Lodum Dare game jam, and after the stint, it became available on Steam. And now, to commemorate the game's anniversary, our remake had been launched in Steam Early Access and it comes with an extended story, new locations, and new difficulty options as well as additional new modes that are planned to be released in the future. So let's talk about now our next new stuff that Sniper Lit V2 Remastered has been leaked. So the Sniper Lit version 2 Remastered has been leaked by the Australian Classification Board and the game is said to be available on multiple platforms and contains strong violence, some mild language and very mild nudity. So the rating also stated that the gaming experience of the players may change online and the game will be developed by Rebellion and published by 505 Games. So the original Sniper Lit V2 launched in 2005 and other than what is leaked by the classification board, nothing much is known about the remaster of the game. Moving on, after numerous delays in its early access release, eager players of the MMO Atlas were finally able to give the game a go. And however, just one day after its early access launch, the game has already received mostly negative reviews on Steam, uh, scoring a rating of 5 
out of 10 as of this report. So Steam has also issued refunds to angry players. Um, players of the game call it a cheap risking of art, with some even saying it functions as some sort of a DLC for art, which is survival evolved. Alright, so that was for our Atlas news and we are now down to our last but not the least news before the special loop will end. So our feature deal of the day is the Owl Boy, which currently has the best price of the 3 euro point seventy-five cents in our price comparison. And in Steam, it reels at 13 euro point seventy-nine cents. So get us again today through our price comparison and save 71% on your purchase. So more of our feature deals of the day, guys. Please don't the type in exclamation mark deal in the stream tab save more compares the gift prizes only here at alkishop.com we have here from rainbow six siege has something special for you for the holidays all you need to do is log into the game after the most recent update and you can get special holiday pack. Now the pack will include a free operator that is not available in your roster. If you already have them and have them all so you will be able to get 25,000 re-owned instead. Now this offer is available on all the game's platforms, PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. If you own the game, make sure to do this now as it will run up until January 1st of 2019. Also, we have here some uh, next Smash Brothers Ultimate in-game event announced. Now, guys, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate is getting a new spirit event. Nintendo announced the event is called Oh Yeah Mario Time, and it starts December 27th and 10 p.m. PT or December 28th, 6 a.m. GMT. This will run up until January 1, 2019, and this will come with an assortment of Mario spirits like Pauline and Dry Bowser, which are both legend crafts. Defeating these spirits will also grant you additional gold and also included are some Super Mario Party spirits like Dice Block, River Survival, and Golden Dash Mushroom. More fighters, more battles, more fun. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, only on Nintendo Switch. Now guys, Rocket Star here has added their own take on the Rocket League formula to GTA Online as part of the Arena War update. A new mode called Bomb Ball emulates the exciting car soccer competition but with an explosive twist. The goal is to get explosive balls into the opposing team's half of the arena before they go off. Bomb Ball is one of the seven Arena War modes that come with the update. This range from capture the flag matches to destruction derby, races, and one-on-one -on -one death matches. Now for new updates guys, pop stars from League of Legends, pop group KDA, which was first seen during the World 2018 celebration, has made its way to the virtual reality game Beat Saber. If you're not familiar with the Beat Saber, it is a rhythm game where you can get to slash blocks flying your way with your sabers. The boxes will match the beat or rhythm of the song playing. Pop Stars is available as a free download for the game. 
It has also its custom map, a special difficulty level, and its video features Akali, Ari, Kasa, and Evelyn. Now also, Twitch Prime members get Hotline Miami, Brute Force, and The Messenger for free. Twitch is sending some holiday cheer to Twitch Prime members by giving away a total of 15 games. This started earlier this month with games including Smoke and Sacrifice, Hacknet, Poi, and SNK Bundle. This can be claimed until the end of the month, and then a collection of developer or Devolver digital titles became available last week. This includes the two Hotline Miami games, Brute Force, Strafe and Swords of Dito, Crossing Souls, and The Messengers, all of which can be claimed until the end of January. Now also, a former League of Legends World Champion Ambition retires. League of Legends former World Champion Ken Ambition Chanryo has announced his retirement after six years in the competitive scene. Ambition is best remembered for his team's historic win over SK Telecom T1 in 2017. Now the win was even adapted into the year's world song, Rise, and with Ambition featured as the main character in the music video. Now, although most retiring players transition into coaching roles, Ambition says he won't be doing so for now as he'll be concentrating on growing his streaming career. Now guys, here we have a new story-driven, non-linear dungeon game called Coruldia Heritage. It's scheduled to launch by 2020, and this somewhat is a solo project has only Rikuro and her boyfriend are only ones making the game. The game offers a hand-drawn pixel, art role-playing game, and both have been working on this for about 8 years now. The environment and character art are all drawn with incredible detail, and the game is meant for PC with an eventual release for both PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. Now we also have here the latest Dead Cells patch will allow players control over some of the otherwise RNG elements of the game. The 1.1 update, the developer's motion twin, will let players go through customized runs where they can choose their starting equipment and decide which, e which items show up in shops and chests. Players will also be able to unlock and relock unlockable items and the update also comes with several fixes, item balance changes, a rebuilt cooldown reduction mechanic and a general rebalance of the game's difficulty. Now Black Ops 4 rolls out update with new camo and skin. A new update is coming to Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and it is the Black Market update. The update did come with normal calling cards, reticles and like but the two items that caught our attention is the most is the new blackout character as well as a new camo for the assault rifles. The new character is the ultimate version of Takeo Masaki which is available for 800 COD points. 
The other thing is the Cypher Reactive Camo, which is a truly unique camo that you would have to see when uh, with your very own eyes. So check this one right now. Now, today guys, we have Kill a Kill the Game, its story and battle mode details revealed here. Our system works has revealed more information of the story and battle mode for Kill a Kill the Game, if, and the story mode will have players taking control of Satsuki Kirikuyin in an altered story that branches off from the anime's 8th episode. In the game, Raigyo shows up instead of Nui at the end of Hanajui Academy's natural election, triggering different events written under the supervision of the original Kill a Kill scenario Winter, and also this writer Kazuki Nakashima. The game will also feature different battle modes, ranging from tutorial to different challenging modes. Now guys, here we have the PlayStation Plus January 2019 games lineup has been revealed by Sony and it includes Steve and Portal Knights. Steve is a massive open world where players can explore the snowy Alps on skies, wingsuits, snowboards, and uh, paragliders. Now guys, Parallel or Portal Knights, on the other hand, will bring you to the randomly generated island where you can level up for your character, craft weapons, and kill your enemies. The game is a real-time cooperative. 3D sandbox action RPG, and these two free games are only available for January 2019. First Blood. Now our featured deal of the day guys is Old Owlboy, which is currently has the best price right now of 3 euros and 75 cents in our price comparison. On Steam, this retails at 13 euros and 79 cents, so get this game today through our price comparison and can save up to 71% on your purchase. And for more of our deals of the day, you can please type exclamation mark deal here in the stream chat and you can save more compare CDK prices only here at allkeyshop.com. <laughs> 